This video is brought to you by the Rectify Win Discord server. Join the server to reach a thousand members before the end of this year. The link will be in the description. Windows XP 2003 Reimaginated, or Rectify XP as it goes by the unofficial name, is exactly turning 2 on this date, March 1st, 2022. After this far, you're probably just questioning when is this started and how and who? Well, all these questions will be answered in this video, and also, I'm answering some Q&A over the Rectify Win Discord server. So let's dive in and rewind the time. Well, no, 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 not that far, actually. Well, the in keep the intro the same as the present one, okay? In 2019, the concept of an unknown Windows modification was made by the user Peter-3917 over Discord. It shows a different list-like wallpaper and modified Windows XP style skin. This concept drags the interest of some Windows modders such as OGS-5267, hash FRA-7481, Isle of PCs-5261, hash 9397, Micro Chicago 1994 0550, and others to complete such a mod. And when the project started, it began as Windows Server 2003 Reskin Workstation, with some previews on the setup which uses the Luna 1, while Pastelia Pinky working on the auto run that uses the later final skin of that project. They decided to ditch out text mode assembly based setup because of the some conflict to its under the hood consistencies. Then, after a few hard works, the early GUI based setup uses the final skin throughout the process. And then, we begin to see the login screen which is still based on Windows Server 2003, but once you about to get into the desktop, you're greeted with batch based post install setup that is commented as disastrous. Once you get into the setup, it uses quite a different theme that what you see on the second phase setup. In here, there is no gradients explicitly except the start button or what Peter says, Luna 2001 got royal. And here are some of the screenshots of the early process. After that, they discovered something deeper with the project. They finally replaced the old text mode setup with the GUI WinPE based from Windows Longhorn. Because of this is M2 or Milestone 2, and things are quite chaotic such as the WinPE being so Longhornish, in an Explorer getting so unstable, and such inconsistencies around all aspects of XP 2003. And by the same year, the project is supposed to be released as a public build, but due to the delay, it didn't come out as we expected. But by August 23rd, 2021, they released a first version which is based from another mod which is, well, Shorthorn Build 3804. And later on, November 21st, this server was created by Pastelia Pinky until OJAS decided to work on Rectify 11 and send it all its development on the Rectify with Discord server. And after that, projects in the server became larger and bigger with Windows Vista Delta, Rectify 7, Vista 7, Messi, and so many more. And finally, on November 26th, the M2 of XP2003 released. And now, let's answer some questions about this project. The first question is, what inspired the team to create the project? It got inspired the team to make a workstation counterpart of the Windows NT 5.2 x86 version, which I mentioned earlier, which is the Windows Server 2003 reskin workstation. Since Microsoft released only the x64 version of workstation counterpart of Windows NT 5.2 called Windows XP x64 edition, they didn't really bother to release the x86 version, 
but they kept the original Windows XP release from 2001 with three service packs which is based in NT5.1. Both OSs may look the same and also, well, feel repetitive with no new features whatsoever. Well, at least not really one noticeable feature. And also quite a bit of repetitive by the look because Windows XP is still Windows XP, Luna, Luna, and Luna again with no really noticeable new features whatsoever. Well, how about to make it again with a new fresh look while fixing inconsistencies and adding features which we can't see in the original XP release? Well, on 2019, we made a concept as I mentioned earlier and well, started to work in 2020 and a release of pre and one of this pro of the project it gone so wrong like it is very chaotic as i mentioned earlier with so many incorrect things that we discussed or we talked earlier so the team decided to start over and well things are of course changed well, Windows Server 2003 is a stable base for the project and the project also is well to improve your usability, reliability and stability. Windows XP 2003 is for you and for you computing life. And the next question is, will there be a feature disparity between the x64 and the x86 version aside from the normal kernel differences? Well, both versions are of course different. XP 2003 in x86 variant has more features than the original XP x64 has. Well, in this project, we added features like power toys, tablet PC components, features that are, well, from original XP, restored features from the old version of Windows, and more things to say. Original Windows XP x86 version isn't really that much different from both original and the project variants of x64. We should rather have the GUI based setup on XP 2003 or well, the text based. Well, of course we need just something that it's really revolutionary like what Windows 95 has with its start button and any other stuff that I mentioned or did I make a video earlier with Windows and Windows. So be sure to check the video once you're done with this video. So because the text based setup is well too old like far too old for modern standards so the team decided to have a new setup which is based from Windows Longhorns WinPE. Next question is, where did these wallpapers come from? Such as well, as you see, like blue clouds, boat, fields, and any other. Well, the answer is, the wallpaper came out from various sources because this is a fan-made Windows modification. So, the wallpapers that are from Windows XP Starter, Windows Longhorn, Microsoft Plus XP, XPIs, Windows Vista, Progress Bar 95, and so many suggestions. Well, people that I suggested those wallpapers are, of course, Javel, as we know, as the co-owner of this server. Ojaz, while the main developer only just the wallpaper called Royale as the default wallpaper one. Which is, as the creator says, inspired from Windows 3.x paper wallpaper. And these wallpapers will suit the design, of course, and so we shall have a good selection of wallpaper than in original XP has. The next question is, where did the cursors come from? Well, the cursors came out likely from a Linux distribution, which the creator specifically called it as Fedora Core 1. And it suits Windows XP aesthetics design for some reason, so well, it does make it look more modern and well the team installed the cursors when they use just XPIs it's better to have that specific cursor set than the original one from Windows 2000 or earlier and Windows XP original one well eventually Windows Vista the default cursor are replaced with the error cursor but staying the Windows 2000 cursors as none scheme in every version of Windows today the next question is what led Peter to make a kind of a hybrid between Royale and Slate theme? So the answer is well, they have designed to make something like that because as for the creator or the team, Luna is kind of like a bit of ugly, like childish as you know, 
and by that, in addition, the fusion of Royale and Luna doesn't really fit with the Windows XP 2003. So, Windows XP 2003, of course, needs something that entirely new, improved, and way better than the original one. So the fusion between Slide and Royale named XP 2003 Luna, so the custom Luna theme for XP 2003 was created, and the world need to find and create better improvements. Next question also is, is XP 2003 capable of running more modern programs compared to the original XP slash server 2003? Well, in the future, there is a chance to run modern programs in this project. Well, certainly the team didn't really know about it just yet, but the next release called Beta 1 doesn't really have modern program support, but in the final release, may or may not have modern program support. With some Vista and Windows 7 applets backported to this project to make a fully improved experience with Windows XP 2003. And the last question is, what are the system requirements? How large is the ISO in the OS's size? System requirements aren't really just the same as the original XP, but the minimal requirements are, well, 256 megabytes of RAM. If you don't really install with the built-in installer, use the WIM apply instead as a method. So it's a uh, 64 or 128 megabytes of RAM memory. And the minimal CPU is, of course, same as Windows XP, Intel Pentium 2 or better with 233 megahertz and the storage is probably about 3 gigabytes and of course it requires SVGA capable video card and 32-bit color support for best experience and for the recommendation is of course 1 gigabytes of RAM Intel Pentium 4 or better or if AMD maybe just AMD Athlon XP or better and both of them have to at least 1 gigahertz and the storage is a little above 4 gigabytes and the video card and color quality depth are same as recommended and the operating system size is depend to the new releases as going on well that's the full development history of Windows XP 2003 reimagined and answering some questions too well be sure to join the server because it is about to reach a thousand members and be sure to join my discord server which has recently reached 100 members too even though it's probably more than 120 members and by that in mind like share and comment this video and don't forget to use the subscribe button to get notified for more videos about windows that's it for today see you next time goodbye